Hello, and welcome to this video. This is a video series I've been wanting to make about how we got and understood the size of the objects in the universe, including the universe itself and the distance between galaxies and the distance between all kinds of stuff. And the first place to start is with planet Earth. How did we figure out the size of planet Earth? To figure that out, we got to turn the clock back a long time. In fact, all the way back to the Ptolemaic period of ancient Egypt. There was a guy that he was in charge of the Library of Alexandria, and he's the one that figured it out. And his name is Erostosthenes. And he's the sole person that figured out the circumference of the Earth. All he needed was a little bit of geometry, a stick, and a shadow, and that's all he needed to figure it out. Because he worked with the Library of Alexandria, he was constantly surrounded by new ideas and new information and just all kinds of stuff. People, literature, he was surrounded by all kinds of culture. One day he overhears a conversation that his colleagues are having, and it's about the city of Aswan. He learns that every day at noon, the sun shines directly down the, the well, and there's no shadow. But in the city of Alexandria, at noontime, there was a shadow, thus giving the idea that the Earth is actually round. And at the time, that was a revolutionary idea. What he did is, at noon, in Alexandria, Egypt, he got a stick and stuck it in the ground and measured the angle based off of the shadow and the height, and he got about 7 degrees. Next thing that he did is he hired a traveler to go from Alexandria to Aswan to measure the distance. And he used a unit called stadia, and he measured about 5,000 stadia between Alexandria and Aswan. After he got all the data, he made a model like something like this, and he put in all the numbers to visualize how this could work. And by using basic geometry and basic arithmetic, he figured out the size of the Earth. Now here is the basic math that he used. Uh, he took 360 and divided by 7, which is the degree that we had in the other image, and that equals 51 segments of a circle. And you take that 51 and multiply it by the distance that the guy walked, which was 800 miles. So. That'd be 51 times 800, and it's roughly around 40,000 kilometers, somewhere around there. He was off by like 4 or 5%. But yeah, that's how the circumference of the Earth was calculated, by using shadows and a stick and geometry.